hearing. Uh, I also especially want to thank the board for its long-standing and steadfast support of Westchester's nonprofit arts and cultural sector. Uh, you've heard uh, a number of really compelling stories tonight about uh, health um, and child's issues. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the economy. Um, we have here in Westchester an exceptionally robust cultural sector that is the envy of Nassau, Suffolk, Bergen, and other neighboring counties. It's really one of the things, frankly, that defines Westchester and is a big part of what makes Westchester a desirable place to live, work, and play. But all of this didn't happen just by accident. Uh, successive administrations and board of legislators uh, working closely with Arts Westchester have been invested in its development and in making this happen. And that's an investment that truly returns major dividends to the county. So the message I want to convey tonight is simple. Westchester's nonprofit cultural sector is a really potent force in the economic life of the county. First, I want to quickly correct the misconception that you may have based on the way the uh, proposed budget was presented. Uh, the county executive's proposed budget represents more than a 50% cut uh, it does not include the funds uh, that you and your colleagues, the board, added and approved in the 2012 budget with a total of $1.5 million allocated to Arts Westchester. I know that you've seen uh, the most recent report on the economic impact uh, of the arts, which was produced by one of the nation's leading cultural think tanks, uh, Americans for the Arts, and that study tells a remarkable story. In 2010, the nonprofit arts sector in Westchester generated over $156 million in economic activity in the county and supported 4,800 full time equivalent jobs. I want to repeat that 4,800 full time equivalent jobs in Westchester. These are not just creative folks, artists, musicians, writers, painters, curators. As important as that is, arts organizations like Copeland House also hire bookkeepers, tradespeople, secretaries, facilities managers, marketers, and salespeople, and many others across a wide range of industries. When an arts organization mounts a public event, for example, uh, it's very likely to do what we at Copeland House do. We engage a local printer, we work with a mailing house, we hire a car service, we hire a caterer. Uh, we purchase supplies from the neighborhood hardware store and take ads in the local papers and magazines. These are local jobs done by Westchesterites. Beyond that, arts events also bring people to Westchester who stay here. They go to restaurants, they shop, um, and, and so forth. So um, the arts, uh, the nonprofit arts and culture sector in uh, Westchester is not only uh, part of the solution to the economic challenges that we, you, all face, but it's also one of the best investments that you can make in the county. Thank you. Thank you.